Welcome back. I'm here now with Dr. Alan Zacharias. He's a board-certified neurologist with Boulder Community Health. And June is National Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month. So we want to talk about some of those issues. Uh, first off, doctor, thanks for being here. Before the news uh, break, we were talking about how will how do you know if your memory's going or if it is something more serious like Alzheimer's? What are the, some of the, the differences? Hard to tell sometimes. Mm -hmm. All of us tend to lose a little bit of memory as we get older. But commonly, if you're forgetting things that are very important or if it's interrupting your ability to function in day-to-day -day life, it's a reason to sometimes seek medical care and be a little more worried than the average simply misplacing an item or forgetting a, a common name. Is it something usually that um, you'll notice yourself a lot? Uh, do loved ones tend to notice it too? Do people hide it sometimes? Certainly people will notice it themselves. Mm -hmm. It's more worrisome when loved ones notice it and the individual doesn't. Mm -hmm. But any time a friend or a family member is concerned about your memory, that's more concerning than just your own fears. Okay, so when, when should you go ahead and go seek medical attention and what would be the first step there? What do you do? We always tell people anytime they have a concern to seek help from either their primary care doctor or a neurologist. And we, we have ways to sort through whether it's a memory problem you should be worried about or whether we can find explanations. Sometimes it's as simple as medication problems mm. or a sleeping difficulty or just stress in life can lead to memory loss. So there are things that you uh, could consider other than Alzheimer's or dementia. Uh, and it is very uncommon under the age of 65, is that Correct. right? Correct. So if you are under 65, maybe and your memory's just starting to go a little or older than that, can you do anything to help your memory? Yeah, a lot of things that are helpful include eating a very healthy diet. The Mediterranean diet has good evidence that it helps our brain. It's good to stay socially active, physically active, intellectually engaged. Live your life fully and participate in life. It helps. All right, doctor, thanks so much uh, thank for you. sharing those tips with us. And we'll keep bringing you that all throughout this month. Dale. All right, thank you.